episode of Producing Success, Catastrophicon edition. We are here with our special guest, Beatrice Bopley, who played Freddy Krueger's mother in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5, The Dream Child. Welcome. She's going to be one of our guests at the Catastrophicon. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm thrilled about Catastrophicon for so many reasons, but one is because it's in my backyard just about. Uh, this is a show in, in my part of New York. So I'm really, really excited about that. And it's and excited to have a new show coming to this area because we, we haven't had anything to, you know, go to that nice and close. Absolutely. We're trying to uh, bring something new to Westchester, get things a little bit exciting here. Um, for everyone who wants to come see you, can you tell us a little bit about your background and what's, uh, you know, what's, what's exciting? Yeah, well, so, um, Clearly, what I'm most known for is certainly in the horror realm is Nightmare on Elm Street, um, in Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, and um, yeah, I'm Freddy Krueger's mom, and there is only uh, one mother of Freddy, the mother of all, all horror, so they, you know, they call me the mother of horror, and um, yeah, the, I played Amanda Krueger, the nun, um, and uh, yeah, I've been, I've been going to a uh, a lot of shows the past few years and getting to meet more and more of my fans but this is the first time as I said I'll get to meet people right here and in, in this part of New York um, and those of you who are big Elm Street fans um, and if you're certainly if you're fans of mine then you know about my book the Kruger's Curse and we just got the third printing in so you'll be able to purchase this at the show I'll have that with me I'll have um, a lot of my fun interesting merch and um, the beautiful Erica will be there, Erica Anderson, who played Greta um, in Elm Street 5 as well. So, you know, we're, we're our little um, Elm Street 5 reunion right in, right in your backyard. So it's, it's um, if you're anywhere um, in the area, Connecticut, um, it's not far, New Jersey, you can come, New York. Um, this is a wonderful, great location. And it's actually really, really beautiful too. I happen to know the building that, um, they're going to be we're going to be in because uh, my son one of my sons had applied for college that was one of the schools we looked at and um wow it's it's quite a special building and it's great that you guys got that it's an important area too because i was uh, sort of joking that it's uh, rip van winkle is from tarrytown or washington irving so uh someone known for making people sleep is going to see what happens when we bring the people who won't allow people to sleep get in the same room that's uh, right can you tell us a little bit about the book? How did you come up with that backstory? Yeah, well, so um, for those of you, you know, real Elm Street fans know Freddy's um, history. You find out most of it in Elm Street 6, um, really, because there's a lot of flashback. And we learned that he, um, we learned that he was married. We learned that he had a daughter and that he killed his wife. We also learned there, um, you know, that he was raised by a really nasty father, played by Alice Cooper. Um, and, but the film never really explains like, how did he end up with this Alice Cooper guy? Was there a mother? Did he have a stepmother? Why did he get beaten? You know, um, why did, well, we know that why he gave, why Amanda gave him up, his mom gave him up because she was a nun, she couldn't keep him, but did they have any relationship? There was all these unanswered questions in the film. And I've lived with this character now for 30, almost 35 years, um, you know, and as, I've, I had um, a background created for her as an actor. It's part of our job. Like we have to, you know, create a life for these characters beyond what's on the page. Yeah. And I just wanted people to know it. I, and and I and I'll I'll be honest. There um, there has been talk of doing prequel for Elm Street. And I had my story. I mean, I, I'm his mom for goodness sake. So I know in my mind what came before. And I wanted my version out before they they started working on a film. So I worked hard during COVID and I came up with a story. Um, I watched the films over and over, tried to make sure it stays very true to every film. Um, and I also, but I tried to also um, even out the discrepancies from film to film so that it kind of flowed and made more sense. But the, the response from the fans has been fabulous. Everyone who's bought it, the first um, two printings sold out immediately. So, um, but, so that's why this is the third printing and it will be at catastrophic on um, I'll sign it um, for you right there and then we have other um, fun exciting merch and and this sounds like such an exciting show because you know it's, it's not just getting to meet you know some of us you know there's Ari Lehman and you know other celebrities there as well but also the whole 
rock music side of it and the vendors and and I imagine some good food and you know in a beautiful location so I think it's going to be a really exciting and fun day for everybody. Um, yeah I, I love uh, the fact that you wrote that book too I mean the word I coined to promote the show or to invent the show is called fanboy energy which is that uh, insatiable drive that super fans have to get closer to their favorite franchises and artists using their own creativity. So uh, Ari having his band, you having that book, it's not, we're not just watching a movie and leaving. Yeah. You're giving us, like you said, it's part of your creative process to create that character. You're giving us a peek in behind, behind your mind. It's a real deep peek behind the scenes. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And, and um, just a quick plug too, that in, in the book, there's, um, great illustrations by I, I hired um, three different artists to um, do some really cool illustrations. Um, uh, Joe St. Pierre is actually he, he does stuff for Marvel and, and, and um, DC Comics and you know like for example the the this is the um, family tree of the Krugers. Oh wow. You know, so, so we've got it on the glove and you know there's some exciting stuff here. So again so it's a it's a Definitely a great collector's item um, that is hard to find otherwise. And and uh, and I will too, unless it gets super, unless it's too hot, um, I am going to bring my costume with me. So um, I, I do plan to put it on for, for photos. Um, again, I can't 100% promise because if it's super, super hot, it's just a really hot costume. And, and um, I, I'm a menopausal lady, so I, I'm always hot anyway. I'm sweating. <laughs> But, Amazing, but I imagine the room is pretty. Those rooms are probably cool, right? Yeah, I, I don't think of it as a hot building. I've been there, you know, I go there every couple of weeks. Um, I will have to find out. It's going to be hot because of uh, the uh, atmosphere, right? We're going to make it hot. Yeah. So, um, that's uh, you know, that's that's what we're going to be working on. I mean, I love uh, again bringing you're bringing your costume. Everyone who's coming, bring your own costumes. Bring your items. We're going to have cosplay groups. Um, so celebrating son of imagination, it's going to be a mix. Just so so you know, you know, there's going to be the usual horror con goers, a lot of them. But I am really putting a lot of word out to people who maybe never have checked something like this out before because um, it's a lot of fun. If you've never been to a con, uh, this is a really good one to get started because um, you know Beatrice is very uh, friendly. Ari's very friendly. Everyone I talk to, they're there to talk. That's uh, it's it, it's not waiting in line and then all right, move on. It's a lot of uh, building out this community, you know, hopefully we'll be doing this for a long time to come. Yeah. And that, that is one thing I will, I will um, echo what, what you said right now. My cat keeps trying to paw me, but anyway, um, I don't know if you can see my little cat. There's his little face. Rolly, look up. Anyway. Um, but what's, what's great is that because this is a brand new show, it's the first year, you know, which you get to say, um, as, as some of your ads have said, you know, I was there when, you know, you get to be at the beginning of this, um, hopefully, great show that's going to grow um he, you know you're dave's absolutely right in that um it being a smaller show because even if it's really well attended it probably you know it, it's a new show and it's and it's not you know one of these big ones with thousands and thousands of people so you will have more time with with the artists with the vendors you know it'll be great really personal wonderful experience Awesome. So we're uh, running out of time. So thank you, Beatrice. I'm going to, uh, we're going to get cut off in a minute. Uh, so uh, if we don't speak before July, I look forward to meeting you and uh, I look forward for everyone to come and join us. So. All right. You be there, you guys, or Freddie's going to get you. <laughs> All right. Good night. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.